Okay, so this is my chapter three derivative wrap up video. Okay, so go and throw them really fast. Power rule. Y equals X to the N. Y prime is equal to N, X to the N minus one. So Y equals X cubed. Y prime is equal to three X squared. Okay, constant. Constant multiple rule. Y equals uh, A times F of X. Y prime is equal to A times F prime of X. So Y equals 5X cubed. Y prime is equal to 5 times 3X squared is equal to 15X squared. Uh, addition and subtraction <coughs> uh, y equals f of x plus g of x minus h of x y prime is equal to f prime of x plus g prime of x minus h prime of x. So if I've got y equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 5, uh, y prime is equal to 6x minus 4 plus 0. Okay? And that's a good one to, so uh, a few things to remember that everybody always messes up. Y equals five, Y prime is equal to zero. Y prime, Y is equal to pi, Y prime is equal to zero. Y is equal to E squared, Y prime is equal to zero. These are all just numbers. Y is equal to 13.574, y prime is equal to zero. Five pi e squared, 13.574, they're all just numbers. So the derivative of a number is just zero. Okay, then we've got y equals e to the x, y prime equals e to the x, that's the definition. We got y equals, um, we got y equals a to the x, y prime is equal to ln a times a to the x, so y equals 7 to the x, y prime is equal to ln 7 times 7 to the x. <clears throat> we got our chain rule. So functions inside functions. So I've got y equals e to the x squared. y prime is equal to 2x e to the x squared. Derivative, derivative of the inside times the derivative of the outside. Um, so y equals uh, f of g of x, y prime is equal to g prime of x times f prime of g of x. That's how I would write that out. Um, y equals x squared plus 3x to the five halves, y prime is equal to two x plus three times five halves, x squared plus three x to the three halves, 
and y equals sine of e to the uh, x squared. y prime is equal to 2x e to the x squared cosine e to the x squared. Derivative of the inside times the derivative of the middle times the derivative of the outside. So that's a double chain rule right there. Okay, then we have our product rule. So if I've got y equals um, just going fast, so then y prime is going to be x squared plus 5x, 2x plus 5 took the derivative over that one, so this is minus sine x, and that's cosine x. Going really, really fast here. Quotient rule we're gonna skip. Sorry. Derivative of sine x is cosine x. Derivative of cosine x is minus sine x. Derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. Derivative of secant x is secant x tan x. Derivative of cosecant is negative co is negative uh, cosecant x cotangent x. Derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. Okay, and then um, we have a few other ones. Uh, y equals ln x, dy dx is equal to one over x, very important. Um, and then we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna add in this one, y equals ln of x squared. So that's a chain rule. So it's going to be y prime is equal to two x over x squared is equal to two over x. And I'll let you think about that one. And then finally we have implicit So if I've got uh, y squared plus 3xy minus 2x uh, squared equals 5, I'm going to say 2y dy plus, that's a product rule, 3x dy plus 3y dx minus 4x dx minus zero. Get all the dy's over on one side. So I get 2y plus 3x dy is equal to, switch the sides, 4x minus 3y dx. dy dx is equal to 4x minus 3y over 2y 
plus 3x. Okay, so that's slamming through them really quickly, and as I slam through those, I realize that there's a lot more that we have to talk about. Um, but maybe I'll make those videos later, or maybe I'll just leave you to think about them on your own.